Hey, welcome to another video. If you guys remember the last video, we left off with making this jig right here. I wanted to make something that I can use to bolt directly to the car and know for sure that the roof is in the correct spot. So I guess today we're gonna try that on. Hopefully it fits nicely and then we can continue welding. And I'll be sure to attach the video of how I made this jig. I also wanted to mention that I do purposely show all of my struggles with the car. I always post when I run into roadblocks, such as the roof height situation, because I want everyone to know that you really can do anything when you hit a roadblock. You know, you just have to think outside the box, sit back, look at it, think about it. And the more you overcome these roadblocks, the easier it is to think about more and more stuff. I'm no different than anyone, and anyone can do this. And it's just me. There's no one else helping me behind the scenes do all this. It's just me. So I just want everyone to know anyone can do what I'm doing. You just have to set your mind to it. You will have haters if you do things like this. But I was always taught that having haters is a good thing because that means you're doing something right. Now that the trunk is off, I want to put this side in first. I made it so you can remove it. That way it'd be a lot easier to install onto the car. But I've tack welded this, so if this isn't in the correct spot, I'm going to have to cut these off and either raise or lower the roof, but I guess we'll just bolt it on there and see what it looks like. Well, since there's not coilovers on this car, I'm just putting a bolt and a nut on the strut brace. All of the nuts and bolts are attached onto the car and the jig very loosely. So I just need to put on this bolt right here and the bolt for that side. And I can't put those on yet because it doesn't exactly line up, which tells me I need to raise the roof a little bit. All right, now we can see how the jig lines up. Ooh, much closer. That might work, actually. So now we have the jig fully bolted in. And what I want to do now is jack up the back of the car from the midpoint because I need to bring tension to the roof. That will help fill in some of this gap right here. Okay, well we have the tension on the back end. We have the jig bolted in. This lines up really nicely. I think it's time to start welding. I think we've officially welded our very first pillar. This top stuff was super thin, but on the bottom it welded pretty nicely. Sweet! All right, I guess we'll start working on the other side now. So with this C pillar, it still has some play, but I don't have any of those fancy like metal grips that like hold everything in place. So we're just gonna work with what we got. And we have vice grips. We're gonna clamp this on here, get a nice little edge to weld on. So I'll just weld it here. Then I'll probably move it over to here so I can get this side squeezed down nicely. And then we'll hit the bottom. The welding is so much fun, I'm not gonna lie. I love it. Oh yeah, 
yeah, beautiful. Welded my first spot weld hole. Those are gonna be a lot of fun to fill in. <laughs> well, at this point, we might as well just keep working our way around each pillar. So I guess we'll hit this one next. Remember the outside is just quarter panel. So I'm not too worried about this gap. Fill that in later, but this is what's important is the piece behind it. Looks like we still have some paint on that spot. Not a good idea to weld onto paint. Much better. Okay, so now we have a few tacks on here. But this is looking really ugly. So I think I'm gonna just at least tack this in place for right now, because I don't like how that looks. And then maybe we'll tack this corner next. So, so before I tack this, I want to make sure which angle I need to match because if you can see, we have the original car that is kind of bumped out more and then we have the roof that is kind of sank in more. Now, this is pretty thin stuff so it does move really easy, but I want to make sure I match the correct angle for the window. So let's mount this real quick. So looking at it like this, this looks pretty good down here and here and we have a gap here so we need to match the chassis sick i'm happy we got this angle right that looks so good i just need to fill in this tiny little gap with some of this prevent c pillar so i'm gonna need to pry back the roof a little bit so it matches the window oh man it looks so good look at that just by pulling it back right here, it even pulls in the inside of the B-pillar, which helps a lot. That looks a lot better. And it even matches the curve right here, which is most important. You wanna match as many curves as you possibly can. So maybe I'll just tack it like that. After I get this grass out of here. <laughs> That looks pretty good. Got that curve lined up here. So now let's work on matching up this rear edge right here to this one. All right, we got that one tacked into position. Now that is looking much better. Look at that, perfect. Wow. That is so satisfying. What the heck? Nothing but smiles. Love that. And if you're liking this video, drop a like. It helps the channel a lot and I appreciate it so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see this thing finished. Look at that. Not bad for two minutes of welding. <laughs> well, I'd say that's already much better than before. Let's work on this corner now. So I may or may not have gotten carried away and finished all of the plug welds on this side. <laughs> now I need to finish this corner. Beautiful. Well, I think I can confidently say that this B pillar is attached. I absolutely love how this came out. Using this door jig here the firewall jig to tie in this A pillar on the roof to the chassis. This is literally the main junction of this entire car right here. If you guys remember from the roof video, I ended up cutting off the A pillar from my car. So this A pillar is actually from the roof because I wanted to utilize these door bolts here. So everything is bolted into place using just jigs. And man, that is so satisfying seeing this all line up perfectly. So I guess I'm going to start with my welding along this seam here. 
then I weld it on the inside. But after I do the inside layer, I want to put like a plate so I can reinforce it because this is like a main structure of the car. So it really needs to be strong here. Success. It's looking super good. I did have a blowout right there. That's why it's a little bubbly, but we filled it in. So it's all good. And then as for the other side, this is what it looks like. So we have really good heat and a good burn through. It went through the other side. So that's super good. That's exactly what you want to look for. So I would like to hit this inside piece here on the door, but I don't have access to it right now. And I'd rather hit it from the outside than the inside because that wasn't really working out too well. So I'm going to wait to weld that part when I have the jig off. So we're going to pass over that one for now. So now we're going to look at that A-pillar. Man, that's so exciting. It literally has a roof now. These lines are looking so crispy on the trans tunnel. I just want to weld it in right now. But I need to stick to my plan of just welding one thing at a time because I want to make sure I do everything in the correct order. I'm just trying to make sure the welding is done as good as I can possibly do it. So this side is going to be a little more complicated. If you remember, this whole half cut is the same as the roof. So that means it was cut in this exact spot. On the A-pillar, there's multiple layers. There's the inner skin, the outside skin, and then if you can see in there, that's like the inner structure, which is actually the thickest piece. So what I think I'm gonna do is peel back this extra material here and even down here. And then also probably end up drilling out the spot weld here and trying to peel back this because I need to get a good weld on the inner piece. And then once it's welded, I'll put another plate on it and weld even more. That way it's reinforced and then I'll know for sure I can trust it. Well, the stud just broke off of the spot weld bit. So that really sucks. Hopefully it cut in deep enough that it went through. But now I need to cut this little sliver off. So I'm gonna cut it back, probably like along here. Then I'll have access to get into there. All right, got it off. Now we have access. So now I need to try and grind off all this paint on here. All right, that's coming along very nicely. You can even see it coming through on the other side a little bit. But unfortunately, my welder ran out of wire. Can't believe how far this thing has come already. So sick. But on the bright side, I won't be needing this hoist for the roof anymore. So let's take that off. There we go. Take this off too. Can release the wood block in the back. Nice. There we go. That's how it sits. 